Praise God. Today we continue with our teaching on worldview. This is part 4A. And uh, the topic is money and stewardship. So we established that the best worldview to have, the one true worldview to have is the Christian worldview. I know many other religions will argue, but we've already uh, discussed about that. So the worldview on money and stewardship, the Christian worldview on money and stewardship. First of all, as a child of the king, as a staunch follower of Christ, you need to know that we are only stewards of the resources God has given us. We can say it's money. So you, you can't say you, you own money or you have land or you have businesses or whatever resources you have. That the years, the world clearly says no one has anything until it is given. So we are only stewards. Who is a steward? A steward is like a manager, someone who's been given uh, resources to manage. So have that in mind. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various form. So get rid of this notion of get rich or die trying. That is the business that the, the pop culture or society tells us. You have to be rich or at least by the time you die, you'd be trying. No, your goal is to do that which is the will of God. Whatever he gives you, you take it. That does not mean you become lazy. But also remember, wealth is not dependable. Only God is dependable. First Timothy 6.17 says, Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant or to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Hallelujah to God. So remember that. We are only stewards because in the end we'll die with nothing. Number two, get this out of your mind, the notion of get rich or die trying. Put your trust in God and not in wealth. God bless.